Here is a very interesting transformation problem, right? It comes under the heading of thinking problems. Um, it makes you think why? Because normally in a transformed function you are trying to find the coordinates of image point from the original and here we do the reverse. We are trying to find the original points given the points on the transform function. Okay, let's read the question. The point minus 4, 10 is on the graph of y equals to minus 3 f of 2x minus 4 plus 1. Find the original point on the graph y equals to f of x. So you have to find the original point. That is the question, right? It's kind of tricky at times. If you haven't done a question like this, it may be difficult to solve such a problem in the test, right? Now, let's try to understand how to connect the points in the original function to the points in the transformed function. So the connection is from the transformation. Let's go through it. Let's say the original points are x and y, okay? Now if we transform it, and this is our transformation, then where should be the transform point? Well, important thing here is that this is not really factored out. So first thing is that I should really factor it out, correct? Fine. So let me factor this function. So I can write this function as y equals to, where should I write? Okay, let me just put it on top of this place. Okay, so we say y equals to minus 3 f of, so we'll factor out 2 from here, right? 2, and then we are left with x minus 4 divided by 2 gives me 2, right? Plus 1. Do you get it? Now it is easy to write the transform point. This is kind of first step which I should always do and you should always do, right? Factor this and then go for transformation, okay? Otherwise, you'll say it moves four units to the right, which is wrong. You can see it's two units to the right, not four, okay? That's another possibility of mistake. Let's avoid all this. We can't really afford to lose such marks, right? Now, here. So what happens to the horizontal point? So this is 2, so it will get multiplied by a factor of 1 over 2. We just do the reverse of inside, right? And 2 will be added, reverse of minus 2. So the x point changes like this. So we get half of the original x point, and then we add 2 to it, correct? And what happens to the y point? y point straight, minus 3 times the original value, plus 1. So we get minus 3 times the original value was y and then plus 1. So that is my transform point, right? So that is how my original and transform points are related. Now, what am I given? I'm given this is this, right? So I'm given that point. And from here, I have to calculate x back. Now, I think it becomes very simple for you, right? No more a difficulty, right? You understand it. Correct? So let me put it here. So we are given this point. So what we are given is, we say half of x plus 2 is actually minus 4. So let me write it on this side. I'll solve here. On the, this is my x point given to us, right? Uh, my points are, let me write here. So what points are given to us are 4 and minus 10. Is it okay? So 4 is this and minus 10 is this, right? Now, and on this side, I will solve for my y point. y point is we are given minus 3y plus 1 is equals to minus 10. Is, does it make sense? Okay. Now we can solve both sides, right? So, okay. We'll take one this side and say minus 3y equals to minus 10 minus 1, which is minus 11, right? And so y equals to minus 11 over minus 3, which could be written as 11 over 3. So that's my y point. You see that? That's how simple it is. Now, if you understand all this, correct? Otherwise, it could be a problem, a real problem, okay? I think this is correct. Now, let's go here. So we'll bring 2 this side and say minus 4 minus 2 equals to half x, right? And this is equals to minus 6 for us. So x is equal to 2 times minus 6, so minus 12. So x is minus 12 for us, correct? So we say, well, our original point should be
1 f of x are minus 12 and 11 over 3. Is that okay? Well, it's not a bad idea to check your answer, correct? Have a close look at it. How to check it? So what we can do is we can say, well, this is minus 12. Then if I do half of it, I get minus 6 and I add 2 to it, I get minus 4. Perfect. That matches. 11 over 3. If I multiply by minus 3, I get minus 11 and if I add 1 to it, I get plus 10. Perfect. So that is how you can test it and we are sure that this, this answer is correct. Okay. So that's how you should be doing finding points on the original graph given the points on the image, right? Transform function. Thank you.